The most recent incident of texting and driving has a family in Santa Maria speaking out. They lost their loved one to a distracted driver. KSBY's Monica Quintero has their emotional story. He was a shining star. He was more than a bright future. He was a young man who uh, excelled in everything he did. His son's death is still fresh. 19-year-old Eric Okerblom was tragically killed last summer. He had finished his first year at the uh, University of California at Berkeley. He was going to be a molecular biology major. You know, there's a Save 11 movement going on right now, which is a, a, a large nationwide referendum to try to stop distracted driving in young people. Uh, every day in this country, 11 teenagers die because of that accident, generally from distraction. CHP says one thing people don't realize, your vehicle does not have to be moving. So if you're at a stoplight or a stop sign and you're texting, you can still get a ticket. I think people are like, well, I know what I'm doing. Like, I, I'm not gonna not, I'm not gonna hurt anybody. This is a little measly thing. I just came from downtown just 10 minutes ago. One lady was on her cell phone as she's driving. You know, another guy has a computer set up on his passenger seat, a, a laptop computer, and he's computing while he's driving. I think uh, we want to be invincible, but we really aren't, so. A tragic reminder, texting and driving can turn deadly. CHP says these type of traffic violations, once you add in court costs and penalties, can run between $100 and $160. They also say there's legislation to increase the fines in the future. Reporting live from the Santa Maria News Center, Monica Quintero, back to you. All right, thank you. And one celebrity who's been pushing to get distracted drivers off the road is Oprah. She has actually dubbed this Friday National No Phone Zone Day.